comments of any nature, questions of any nature. <clears throat> We're in the cultural center here, and I presume that gives us freedom to mention topics that might even be uncomfortable. Uh, I don't ever think about it as what I get out of it. I'm a servant of the public's interest. My mindset is I've been called, people want, or they need, or they requested, and I have something to offer. I have the cosmos, the universe, to offer. So I'm flattered by all of this, but not so much personally flattered as I am enchanted by the fact that it's the universe that's exciting people. And I just happen to be their conduit to it. Oh, it was really amazing, like, especially being able to show my research and what I did. Because um, I worked with meteorites, so it was really cool because him being an astrophysicist, like, and just I'm talking to him about what he actually does because I'm trying to think about what I want to do in the future. Well, you said factor two. Yeah. Well, we, we don't know, so we're trying to figure out this weathering process. Is it some type of earth weathering process that's mm -hmm. concentrating aluminum here? There was just a lot of enthusiasm. A lot of people were like laughing, like just really getting into it. Um, he had a great message. Was really promoting science. Really, just trying to relate, and uh, it was just—it was an awesome lecture. I, I'm really glad I went. That the public, and as perceived through the gatekeepers, cares about scientific discovery, at least cosmic discovery. Look at the headlines garnered by the discovery of the Higgs boson. It was a banner headline in the New York Times. A point I didn't drive home, which I should have. I should have spent a little extra energy. If you don't enter STEM fields, yet you recognize and value the role of STEM in tomorrow's economy, then you can still serve that mission statement. So in everyday life, everyone can participate. And what a world that would be. You come out with a deep understanding and I think a very high ego, but properly measured, telling you that we are stardust. Thank you all.